this motion. Thank you. Uh, I please the debate. Uh, Resuming debate. The Honourable Member for Honoré Mercier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Motion 385 from my colleague dealing with bullying it touches uh, me to the very heart. I was a uh, teacher in secondary school and the mother of children who went to the same school and as such I was a first-hand witness of acts of bullying and their consequences on young people in our society. Since January, on January 18, 2011, the Public Health Agency of Canada said on its site that the thought that our own children could be the victim of bullying in school or in cyberspace, cyberspace is a great source of concern for parents. I'm, what is intimidation? Well, I'm going to look at a document from Alberta. Bullying is defined as a, a conscious, aware action that is deliberate and hostile and of a repetitive nature and is characterized by a power imbalance and an intention to hurt people. When it, when it deteriorates, it can provoke a, sentiment, a feeling of terror in the victim. And this is felt across society. The people who are punished feel these effects. And it is based on the lack of action on the part of the peers and an antisocial behavior and it can have social and physical impacts. Anyone who has been a victim of bullying knows how it causes suffering. Intimidation, or rather bullying, is not a normal phase in a child's growth. Bullying can take different forms. For example, verbal bullying criticism, threats, social bullying, exclusion by peers. Now people say it's just a joke, but these jokes hurt. It is like a knife to the, through the heart. Physical bullying, for example, injuring another child. And it can also cyber bullying can also occur online according to experts bullying is first and foremost a form of power through aggression it changes with age it starts in kindergarten and goes up to the teenage years and people even seniors are victims of it often it is students and adults wonder exactly what is going on and sometimes they stand by. I would also like to focus on cyberbullying which is uh, threatening threat, threats over the internet and that is something that affects us greatly these days. Bi bullying also has consequences. Studies show that perpetrators and victims are more at risk of de developing emotional problems later in life. We had, or rather, when we know, when we see a child behave, we know sometimes that they are victims of bullying because they become aggressive at home and we wonder what is going on. Sometimes we might ask the teacher, well, what's going on in the classroom? Nothing. It's just children's games. It's not serious. And a few months later, we realize that the child for months and perhaps for years has been the victim of uh, maltreatment and bullying at school. And that child will be always be alone, will close in on himself because he realizes that other people are bad. So potential consequences of uh, bullying are low self-esteem, lack of confidence, and that can uh, harm social development and undermine a child's happiness, even to adult age. Guilt as well. I know adults who remember clearly that uh, re remembering when they had their Halloween candy stolen and how much that hurt them. 
the bully uses attacks to solve the problem, problems of a different nature. When we look at bullying, we do not allow children to learn how to solve their problems. There is also the exclusion that children suffer. Children, or rather bullying, can undermine a child's ability to participate in activities and have fun at school and in society. The most tragic consequence is suicide. Mr. Speaker, a child can decide that he has had enough and will put an end forever to bullying. Mr. Speaker, there are three groups that I want to refer to with regard to bullying. We often talk about children, but I'm also going to talk about, ch about immigrants and seniors. Often, there are senior citizens who are threatened with, uh, d with expulsion from their home. And uh, they, this person was threatened. Uh, this is rather as the case of an immigrant who was, who was threatened with being sent back to their country. Or there was a Portuguese permanent resident who was threatened and with being forced to leave the country, whereas he had lived here for many, many years. There was also recently the case of temporary foreign workers who live in a situation of isolation. Often they do not speak French or English. And they, if they dare complain, their employers threaten to send them back to their country. So they keep quiet. So they do not even dare complain. But there is also immigrant youth. They must deal with racism and xenophobia. Uh, but the fact is that they are excluded causes them to join gangs. And uh, this uh, causes very bad behavior. So this report shows that according to the statistics available, people who were immigrants in the control group felt or rather experienced attitudes of uh, racial discrimination. And uh, they said even that teachers were part of the problem in some cases. The report also examines attitudes towards immigrants. In part of my writing, there are teenagers who are who come from Haiti who and from other countries they barely speak French so there are organizations that can help them but they have lost a great many of their the people who work there because of cuts to their budgets and many service suppliers don't have sufficient resources to help people solve their problems. Now I'm going to talk about seniors. They also are victims of bullying. They, because some of them live at, uh, in their children's homes and they can be threatened with violence, emotional violence, financial threats and negligence physical violence, often says, well, if you don't do what you're going, what I, what I tell you to do, then you won't see your grandchildren. So this violence that affects our children, I think we've talked about that a great deal and it touches me to the very core. And I think that uh, the community, that media can play a role if uh, on TV we could see programs that would encourage children to denounce bullying, well, we would all be winners. We would all come out ahead. And I think that in that regard, the emotion of my colleague 
is very necessary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.